Now next question, question number 49, okay, so 49 hum dekhenge. whether input tax credit is allowed on inputs which become vest and is sold as a scrap, whether input destroyed or second question, whether input destroyed or pilfered and shortage also is covered. Okay. The first question, whether input tax credit of inputs which become vest and sold as a scrap is allowed or not or whether you into destroyed or pilfered and shortage also is covered in the ITC or not. Hmm. Now, so friends, uh, yes how you are going to solve this subject to question, very simple, any clue, ok, see, go step by step, now analyze the question carefully, step number 1, step number 2, what is our step number 2, read the legal provision, step number 3, yes, link our question with a legal provision, step number 4, uh, yes, design the framework of the answer, step number 5, read the answer and last step number 6, what is that? Try to write down, ok, and uh, your written practice. Now, what is the analysis of question? West or scrap and second destroyed or pilferage. pilferage. Now, take example inputs use in manufacturing final product and west or scrap arose, west or scrap arose. What is our legal provision? Legal provision, yes, uh, which section I should refer, what do you think? Go ahead. They said, read this question carefully, whether ITC allowed or not, for eligibility, eligibility, you must refer section 16. By section 16 ka title hai, eligibility and condition. So, first you must refer section 16 and thereafter block credit section 17.5. Yes, only these two sections are important for deciding eligibility. Okay, beta. For deciding eligibility, these two sections are important. Section 16 say all goods or services 
use in the business use in the business are eligible for ITC provided that some condition invoice or debit note received goods or services are also received supplier has made the payment of the tax and last uh, yes <coughs> return has been filed in case of loss lot last installment 180 days criteria and time limit that means whatever the goods used in the business it should be eligible for ITC 17.5 block credit to deny the credit agar kisi ka credit rokna hai to deny the credit for those goods which use in the business just seek section 17.5 if section 75 restrict the credit then yes okay ITC is not available now beta see that okay for credit inputs which become waste and sold as a scrap so it is used in the business okay it, that means it is used it is used in the business it become waste and sold as a scrap so okay use in the business there is no as well as there is no restriction under section 17.5 for eligibility of ITC of such uh, goods in such case yes ITT shall be allowed second when inputs destroyed or pilfered and sh shortage also is covered ha huh. in case of destroyed or okay theft ya yeah, shortage so if you remember section 175 i i think clause h is there any goods lost destroyed lost is there loss means shortage destroyed ya yeah, pilfered ya yeah, theft okay ya yeah, free sample in that situation itc should not be given so write your answer accordingly if input become waste or scrap credit shall be can not be denied output tax is payable but as per section 17 if lost or stolen credit should not be given so agar wo destroy hota hai pilferage hota hai to 17 5 s se credit should not be given so first legal provision humne link kiya then we have designed the framework of the answer uh, हमको कौन कौन से सेक्शन लिखना है वो हमने आइडेंटिफाई किए एंड लास्ट ओके वी हैव रेड दी आंसर एंड योर प्रेजेंटेशन सो दिस इज ओके अबाउट लॉस और डिस्ट्रक्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी अ कंसाइनमेंट ऑफ 1000 थाउजेंड के जी ऑफ इनपुट वॉज रिसीव द जी एस टी एट द रेट फाइव परसेंट पेड पर इन वॉइस वॉज टेन थाउजेंड वेल इनपुट्स वेर इन ट्रांसिट हंड्रेड के जी वेर डिस्ट्रॉयड and it was found that these are not usable state the eligibility of itc as per gst act again the question is on eligibility okay for eligibility a legal provision let's analyze the question what question said okay yahan question kya bolta hai question ki goods lost in transit lost in transit matlab before receipt it completely destroyed that means not used as well as it is lost goods okay so section 17.5 is there any restriction on lost goods yes this is the analysis second uh, legal provision section 16 17.5 third step okay third step link your question with our okay legal provision and your answer say so, okay ab dekho yahan pe what should be your analysis in legal provision whatever the section you are going to use Yes, section 259 you can also use what do you mean by inputs section 16 and section 17 5 so while designing the answer your answer totally based on these three subsections okay totally based on three this subsection so input definition means goods are intended to be used by the supply in the course of furtherance of business section 16 to be okay again he has received the goods one of the condition of section 16 that goods must be received even though it is intended to be used but it should be received and our goods are lost in transit before receive 17 5 for lost stolen goods itc is not available so your discussion okay ki yahan pe aapko credit nahi milega okay for 1000 inputs ka loss in transit okay aapko itc nahi milega because goods lost or destroyed okay and your conclusion 
very simple question okay done now question number 55 xyz limited is a manufacturer of washing machine it has made a various civil construction in a factory following purchases are made for construction during the month of july 2017 invert supply cement steel purchase for factory building cement and bricks purchase for construction of storage tank cement and steel purchase to build support structure of machinery can xyz limited take itc of above purchases against gst payable on outward supply of washing machine let's analyze the question first step analysis of the question company is manufacturing washing machine and okay has purchased okay cements and construction material for factory building and also to support to the capital goods any capital goods to support that capital goods cement is purchased okay so various purchases of different uh, goods for construction has been given now second step what is our legal provision legal provision uh, do you remember any 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 provision in itc for construction yes if you remember okay section 175 175c and 175d correct correct 175 okay don't try to okay remember it open your book read that provision again first works contract for construction construction of uh, immovable property works contract construction for immovable property okay so works construction from immovable property and second goods or services goods or services purchase for construction for construction read that clause carefully for construction of immovable property for construction of immovable property okay goods or services are purchased theek hai now uh, on his own account but there is a exception if you see the exceptions then exceptions is that first exception if your supplies outward supply uh, works contract or construction then you can take the itc matlab aapka business hi works contract hai ya construction hai to aap itc le sakte ho and second a plant and machinery plant and machinery now a definition of plant and machinery don't leave it don't leave it go ahead definition of plant and machinery is given okay any machinery equipments okay uh, apparatus whether attached to the foundation to the earth or not read that carefully to aise case mein any uh, apparatus machinery or equipment whether attached by foundation to earth or not okay that would fall under the plant and machinery second any goods used to support such machinery even civil construction or anything installation you have done to support such machine okay machinery that is included in plant and machinery but telecommunication tower land and building okay or any other civil structure should be excluded or pipeline outside the factory should be excluded okay this is a legal provision now our question not on works contract our question is on clause d so if you able to write section 175d okay able to quote this section then yes it would be nice okay so legal provision we have discussed that one now let's this okay compare the question with our legal provision cement and steel purchase for factory building any immovable property okay not eligible for itc no itc is available cement and bricks are purchased for construction of storage tank again a civil structure no itc okay and again storage tank is not a plant and machinery because plant and machinery should be apparatus equipments okay uh, and my okay, any apparatus machinery or equipments cement and steel purchased to build support structure to machinery if you remember the definition of plant and machinery any support structure would fall within the purview of ओके प्लांट एंड मशीनरी तो मुझे लगता है इसका आईटीसी मिलना चाहिए चलो देखते हैं आंसर पर हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं साथ में मिलकर डिस्कस कर रहे हैं ओके okay, हो सकता है मैं भी गलत हूँ 
ओके मैं भी आपके साथ एज अ स्टूडेंट भी कर रहा हूँ डोंट मी कंसिडर एज अके यहाँ पे कि भाई कोई यहाँ फैकल्टी आ रही है जस्ट आप सुन रहे हो नहीं दोनों मिल के साथ डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है तो मज़ा आएगा ओके भाई मिस्टेक करने में भी मज़ा आता है ठीक है सो ना यहाँ पे द एक्स वाइज इज लिमिटेड टेक ए आई टी सी ऑफ अवर परचे अगेन जी एस टी पेबल और आउटवर्ड सप्लाई ओके मैं आपको एक बात और बोल दूँ बेटा कि अगर कभी सॉल्व करते हुए मिस्टेक हुई ना तो खुश हो जाना क्योंकि जहाँ पे भी मिस्टेक होती है ना मेमोरी वो याद रख लेता है ओके okay, तो जरूर अगर आ, हमारे डिस्कशन में भी कुछ मिस्टेक होती है तो भाई तुमको भी याद रह जाएगा मेरे को भी याद रह जाएगा तो मुझे मेरे हिसाब से थर्ड का आई टी सी और थर्ड एलिमेंट शुड भी एलिजिबल फॉर आई टी सी यस सेवनटीन फाइव यू डी देखा ओके आई हैव कोड दैट सेवनटीन फाइव डी डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्लेंट एंड मशरी इफ यू एबल टू डाइट इन लीगल प्रोविजन देन डैट वुड बी मोर बेटर डोंट रिमेंबर इट जस्ट री ओके एंड आपके बुक में से देखो एक बार नाउ डिस्कशन आपको प्लांट एंड मशीनरी का मिल जाएगा तो पहले का नहीं मिला दूसरे का नहीं मिला एंड यस ओके तीसरे का मिल गया तो तुम्हारा मेरा आंसर दोनों का सेम आया तीसरे का यहाँ पे आई टी सी अवेलेबल हो जाएगा ठीक है तो वी हैव डिस्कस द एलिजिबिलिटी ऑफ आई टी सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स चलिए देख लेते हैं डिटरमाइन एलिजिबिलिटी ऑफ आई टी सी फ्रॉम फॉलोइंग केसेस वेन एवर देर इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन एलिजिबिलिटी कीप इन माइंड सेक्शन सेवनटीन सॉरी सेक्शन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन फाइव ओके यूर एलिजिबिलिटी शैल बी डिनाइडेड ऑनली इन शैल बी डिनाइड ऑनली इन दिस सेक्शन ओके सिक्सटीन और सेवनटीन सो बी केयरफुल वेन एवर देर इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन एलिजिबिलिटी रीड ओके जस्ट ट्राई टू रीड दैट प्रोविजन फ्रॉम योर रेगुलर बुक ओपन द रेगुलर बुक कनेक्ट यूर क्वेश्चन ओके टू लीगल प्रोविजन रीड दैट लीगल प्रोविजन केयरफुली ओके बेटा डिटरमाइन एलिजिबिलिटी ऑफ आई टी सी फॉर द फॉलोइंग केसेस एज पर सेक्शन सेवनटीन फाइव ऑफ द सी जी एस टी एक्ट ए एज पर लिमिटेड इज अ रजिस्टर्ड पर्सन एंगेज इन द पैसेंजर ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विस इट परचेज टू मोटर व्हीकल्स फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स जी एस टी ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट फॉर इट बिजनेस एज ऑन टेन टेन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन डिटरमाइन विदर एज पर लिमिटेड कैन अवेल द बेनिफिट ऑफ इनपुट टैक्स क्रेडिट ऑफ द जी एस टी पेड ऑन द मोटर व्हीकल मोटर व्हीकल इवन दो यूज इन द बिजनेस बट यस स्टेप वन लीगल प्रोविजन मोटर व्हीकल आई टी सी इज अवेलेबल डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट इज दिटिंग कैपेसिटी सेवनटीन फाइव ओके ए यू कैन रेफर दे तो सिटिंग कैपेसिटी इज थर्टीन और लेस इंक्लूडिंग ड्राइवर then ITC is not available more than 13 then ITC is available this is a amendment so in this question they are not given the sitting capacity so yes i personally believe ki you have to write the answer in both way depends on sitting sitting capacity see the answer yeah ek note dal dena answer mein you must write the note we assume that sorry uh, wait 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 As per limited is registered person engaged in passenger transport service. Come on, passenger transport service. I want to correct it. Uh, if your sitting capacity is less than, okay, uh, if your sitting capacity is less than, okay, thirteen, then ITC is available in certain cases. You are outward supply. You you are using for further supply. या पैसेंजर ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विस इन गिवन केस एज पर लिमिटेड इज एंगेज इन पैसेंजर ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विस सो हियर दिस इज इन एक्सेप्शन आई टी सी इज अवेलेबल इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द सिटिंग कैपेसिटी इवन दो यूर सिटिंग कैपेसिटी इज लेस दैन थर्टीन आई टी सी शुड बी गिवन तो आई टी सी इज अवेलेबल इन बोथ द केसेस नाउ केस बी एम सी लिमिटेड कंडक्ट एट अ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ एनुअल जनरल मीटिंग एट सीट हेड ऑफिस इन बैंगलोर and avail the service of swath caterers for occasion swath caterers charge 450000 plus gst 18% for supply of outdoor catering service determine mc limited can avail itc of gst paid on outdoor catering services now outdoor catering services okay open your book section 17 5 clause b block credit have you opened that samne rakho wo padho usko outdoor catering and various services are given and these services are not eligible for itc it is in block credit 
ठीक है वो ब्लॉक क्रेडिट में है नेक्स्ट लीगल प्रोविजन क्रेडिट्स आर अवेलेबल इन सर्टन केसेस वॉट आर दोज केसेस इफ दिस कैटरिंग सर्विस इज यूज फॉर फर्दर सेम कैटेगरी ऑफ सप्लाई मतलब इफ यू आर आउटडोर कैटर्स यू आर आउटवर्ड सप्लाई इज आउटडोर कैटर्स एंड यू आर टेकिंग द सर्विसेज इनवर्ड सप्लाई एज अ कैटरिंग सर्विस देन यू कैन टेक द आई टी सी वो केस में आप आई टी सी ले सकते हो और इफ दिस आउटडोर कैटरिंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ कंपोजिट और मिक्स सप्लाई देन यू कैन टेक द आई टी सी इन गिवन नाउ कनेक्ट द क्वेश्चन विथ लीगल प्रोविजन इन गिवन केस आई पर्सनली थिंक ओके दे आर नॉट यूजिंग फॉर सेम आउटवर्ड सप्लाई या कंपोजिट और मिक्स सप्लाई दे आर यूज द सर्विस फॉर एनुअल जनरल मीटिंग एनुअल जनरल मीटिंग ओके देन यूर कंक्लूजन ओके आई टी सी शुड नॉट बी अवेलेबल डिजाइन द एंसर फर्स्ट यू आर गोइंग टू राइट सेक्शन सेवेंटीन फाइव बी प्रोविजन ओके देन डिस्कशन एंड लास्ट में कंक्लूजन डिस्कशन एंड कंक्लूजन ओके दिस शुड बी यूर ओके एंसर फ्रेम वर्क ओके इन योर माइंड डिजाइन द एंसर दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच लीगल प्रोविजन यू आर गोइंग टू कोट ओके हाउ टू राइट द डिस्कशन हाउ टू कंक्लूड द एंसर दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो आई टी शुड नॉट बी गिवन चलो आंसर चेक करते देखते तुम्हारा मेरा सही है कि गलत है सेवनटीन फाइव बी यस ओके कोर्ट हुआ नॉट एंटाइटल टू टेक द आई टी सी ये भी कोर्ट हुआ एंसर नहीं देखना डोंट सी द एंसर हम एंसर्स बनाएंगे ये प्रैक्टिस आप जितनी फॉलो करोगे उतना आपको हर सब्जेक्ट में बहुत बहुत हेल्प होगा ना नेक्स्ट सी निर्मिति प्राइवेट लिमिटेड इज एंगेज इन सप्लाई वर्क्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सर्विसेज इट गिव्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क टू अ सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर अ सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर चार्जेज जीएसटी इन इज इन वॉइस टू निर्मिति प्राइवेट लिमिटेड डिटरमाइन द एलिजिबिलिटी ऑफ इनपुट टैक्स लिमिट अवेलेबल टू निर्मिति प्राइवेट लिमिटेड so now first of all it is on works contract and itc analysis of the question first step okay analysis of the question it is on works contract and eligibility of icc okay where you have seen this relationship you have seen this relationship in section 175 block credit open your book aapki book samne hi hoga 175 fir se padho डोंट प्रिज्यूम कि आपने जस्ट इसके पहले के प्रॉब्लम में पढ़ा है मतलब हो गया आपका नहीं 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 मेरे साथ फिर से पढ़ो सर हमारे पास टाइम नहीं है टाइम निकालना पड़ेगा बेटा ओके और डोंट पास एनी कमेंट ऑन यूट्यूब टाइम निकालना पड़ेगा मेरे साथ फिर से पढ़ो जब ऐसी पढ़ाई करोगे बार 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 बुक देखोगे तो ही मजा आएगा तो ऐसे सिचुएशन में वर्कस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सेवनटीन फाइव सेवनटीन फाइव पढ़ो एक बार ओके तो वर्कस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वॉट इज द प्रोविजन लीगल प्रोविजन लीगल प्रोविजन है कि वर्क्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सर्विस यूज फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ इमुएबल प्रॉपर्टी कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ इमुएबल प्रॉपर्टी देन आई टी सी इज नॉट अवेलेबल इसके कुछ एक्सेप्शन है आपको याद होगा तो इसके कुछ एक्सेप्शन है बेटा क्या एक्सेप्शन है बताओ इसके एक्सेप्शन पहला ओके प्लांट एंड मशीनरी पढ़ा आपने प्लांट एंड मशीनरी का और सेकेंड एक्सेप्शन क्या है सेकेंड एक्सेप्शन If you are, if use for providing works contract service, मतलब your outward supply is works contract, then you can take the ITC. Now connect your question with legal provision. C clause. Okay, Nirmiti is a works contractor, works contractor and taking a sub contractor service, same works contract. Yes, that means he is using works contract for providing works contract. Come on. He is using works contract for providing works contract. Then I personally believe ITC should be given. देखते तुम्हारा मेरा answer match होता है क्या? Design the answer. Don't 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 see the answer. Okay, design the framework of the answer. First legal provisions. Legal provision में section seventeen five C में दूँगा. Okay, अभी अभी आपने पढ़ा. Okay, seventeen five C. हम restriction लिखेंगे. Then we will write the exceptions. and on the basis of exception discussion and conclusion see dekho yes correct section 17 5 c exception criteria and itc should be given and it is used for further supply correct beta 
this is the way of your presentation every point is you have taken into consideration next a taxable person is in business of information technology he buys a motor vehicle for his executive director can he avail itc in respect of gst paid on purchases of such motor vehicle hmm sitting capacity is not given motor vehicle for passenger transport not for goods transport okay so open your regular book again with me every time open your book read the amendment provisions of motor vehicle if okay first read the provision then my chart must be in your mind motor vehicle for person and a passenger transport and goods transport if for goods transport whole credit is available if for passenger transport come on if for passenger transport hmm if for passenger transport then kya beta then sitting capacity 13 or less no itc 13 more than 13 itc available 13 or less no itc but in certain cases for example further supply passenger transport service driving school itc is available in given case uh, information technology it service business is there motor vehicle for director okay sitting capacity is not given so what to do if sitting capacity is not given then yes you have to take assumption what should be the sitting capacity okay and on that basis okay you have to give the answer i have taken here yahan ek add karna also in given case we assume we assume sitting capacity sitting capacity less than or equals to 13 including driver then no itc then no itc okay beta so if we assume sitting capacity less than or 13 then no itc is available next 57 determine whether input tax credit will be available for following activities as in in accordance with the provision of input tax credit chapter of cgst act and state the reasons one cement is used for construction of administration building okay cement is used for foundation of pillars supporting the boiler okay works contract service is provided by subcontractor to a contractor theek hai health insurance for factory worker if it is statutorily mandated to take such insurance theek hai goods are used for running a guest house in a factory okay car used by factory for personal use theek hai and steel and other structural are used for setting up the telecommunication tower very good question you can make it important question okay this what do you think i have analyzed the question let's analyze first two is for goods purchase for construction next specially for works contract next health insurance and remaining goods used for running a guest house in a factory car used by factory for personal use you have to fix the eligibility and with reason just you have to explain the reason why credit should be given and credit not to be given okay ho oh. to first on cement if abhi abhi padha hai par wapas se padho open the book yahi hai practice beta ho sakta hai kuch chhut gaya ho ho sakta hai kuch reh gaya ho ho sakta hai aapne dhyan se nahi padha ho jaane do time hone do आंसर नहीं देखना ओके okay, तो क्या लगता है पढ़ने के बाद कंस्ट्रक्शन हम कंस्ट्रक्शन में सेक्शन 15 फॉर गुड्स यूज इन कंस्ट्रक्शन तो गुड्स यू गुड्स और सर्विसेज यूज इन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एमोएबल प्रॉपर्टी तो 
सेवेंटी सॉरी सेवेंटीन फाइव डी लगेगा फॉर फर्स्ट टू केसेस वर्क्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सेवेंटीन फाइव सी लगेगा सेवेंटीन फाइव डी सेवेंटीन फाइव सी फॉर वर्क्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस एज पर अमेंडमेंट एज पर अमेंडमेंट सेवेंटीन फाइव बी सेवेंटीन फाइव बी लगेगा ओके गुड्स यूज फॉर रनिंग अ गेस्ट हाउस इन अ फैक्ट्री गेस्ट हाउस ठीक है डिस्कस करेंगे कार यूज बाय फैक्ट्री फॉर पर्सनल यूज पर्सनल यूज ओके सेवेंटीन एंड स्टील एंड अदर स्ट्रक्चर आर यूज टू सेटिंग अप टेलीकम्युनिकेशन टॉवर सेटिंग अप टेलीकम्युनिकेशन टॉवर ओके चलो एनी गुड सेवेंटीन फाइव डी रीड विथ मी Any goods or services used for construction of immovable property on his own account, then ITC is not available, even though used for the purpose of business. Have you read this provision carefully? Now, step two. There are two exceptions. If it is used for construction of plant and machinery, ITC should be given. Or your business is construction and you are providing the services of construction, then tradi should be given. the first cement is used for construction of administrative building no itc personally i believe cement used for foundation of pillars to supporting the boiler wait a minute don't leave the question again open your book already open hai there is one exception plant and machinery read the definition of plant and machinery carefully If you read the definition plant and machinery carefully, then any installation to support the uh, any installation to make the structure to support the plant and machinery, then it would fall. That installation and structure would be fall within the scope of plant and machinery. So yes, us ka ITC milna chahiye second ka. Yes, correct, correct. Second ka milna chahiye. Now third one. Works contract service is provided by subcontractor to a contractor. Again, credit should be given because in works contract section 15, sorry section 17 five C में ये works contract अगर आप देखोगे तो ये works contract service जो provide किया गया ये works contract service for okay contractor के लिए तो works contract service जो provide किया मेन कॉन्ट्रैक्टर ने सब कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सर्विस लिया तो यस क्रेडिट शुड बी गिवन तो थर्ड का क्रेडिट मिलना चाहिए यस क्रेडिट इज गिवन ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस फॉर फैक्ट्री वर्कर्स इफ इट इज मैंडेटेड टू टेक सच इंश्योरेंस लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एंड हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज इट रेस्ट्रिक्टेड क्रेडिट बट इफ इट मैंडेटेड बाय लॉ फॉर टाइमिंग फोर्स द क्रेडिट शुड बी गिवन यू कैन राइट सेवेंटीन फाइव बी If you want to quote, okay, section with proviso, there is one proviso. If you remember, okay, read seventeen five B correctly. Don't get a ready-made answer from me. Okay, आप रिसर्च करो, आप देखो, बुक आपके सामने है. Clause B में health amendment के हिसाब से health और life insurance exception में फिर एक common proviso दी है जो clause B वन टू और थ्री में आता है तो एक कॉमन प्रोविजो है कि वो प्रोविजो भी अमेंडेड है कि दैट प्रोविजो आल्सो अमेंडेड दैट एनी एक्टिविटी कवर्ड अंडर क्लॉज बी इफ इट इज अंडर द लॉ मैंडेटेड बाय लॉ देन आईटीसी शुड बी गिवन ओके हेंस यू हैव टेकन दैट डिसीजन नेक्स्ट बेटा फिफ्थ नंबर डोंट सी द एंसर गुड्स आर यूज फॉर रनिंग अ गेस्ट हाउस इन अ फैक्ट्री is there any restriction first of all guest house in a factory is a part of business activity guest house in a factory part of business activity running a guest house in a factory so personally i believe as per section 16 as per section 16 anything used in the business eligible for itc theek hai second except block credit goods used in a guest house should not be eligible for itc except 
इट इज़ अ फूड ब्यूरेजेस और एक्सेट्रा तो यहाँ उन्होंने फूड और ब्यूरेजेस तो नहीं दिया है तो रनिंग अ गेस्ट हाउस का है तो इफ फूड और ब्यूरेजेस वुड हैव गिवन स्पेसिफिकली देन नो आई टी सी बट दे हैव गिवन नॉर्मल गुड्स एंड आई पर्सनली बिलीव यू शुड गिव द आई टी सी बिकॉज दिस इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन फॉर गेस्ट हाउस ऑफ अ फैक्ट्री रीड दैट सेक्शन सेवनटीन फाइव डोंट बिलीव ऑन माई वर्ड्स डू यूर रिसर्च सेवनटीन फाइव फ्रॉम क्लॉज ए टू क्लॉज एच आई फॉर गेस्ट हाउस देर इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन हाँ फॉर पर्सनल यूज देर इज रिस्ट्रिक्शन फॉर गेस्ट हाउस इज नॉट अ पर्सनल यूज आई बिलीव गेस्ट हाउस इज फॉर बिजनेस पर्पज आई टी सी शुड बी गिवन ओके सो वॉट आई हैव रिटर्न यस देखो मैंने दिया है फूड और ब्यूरेजेस होता तो नहीं मिलता है बट अदर गुड शुड बी गिवन देन सिक्स कार यूज बाय फैक्ट्री फॉर पर्सनल यूज नो आई टी सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज पर्सनल यूज सेकेंड इज इज कार कैपेसिटी लेस देन थर्टीन क्रेडिट शुड नॉट बी गिवन स्टील एंड अदर स्ट्रक्चरल आर यूज फॉर सेटिंग अप टेलीकम्युनिकेशन टावर आर यू गेटिंग दैट यस यस कमान कमान If you have seen the definition of plant and machinery carefully, then telecommunication tower is not treated as plant and machinery. If it is not treated as plant and machinery, that means any goods used for telecommunication tower credit should not be given. Credit should not be given. So in this case, credit is not available. But okay, so credit नहीं मिलना चाहिए. Correct? देखो. आंसर आपका मेरा सही आ रहा है दिस लेवल ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस यू रिक्वायर ओके चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट एबीसी कंपनी लिमिटेड इज एंगेज इन द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ हेवी मशीनरी ओके इट प्रोक्योर द फॉलोइंग आइटम्स ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई ठीक है इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मर टू बी यूज इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ट्रक यूज फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल ओके रॉ मटेरियल एंड लास्ट कन्फेक्शनरी आइटम्स फॉर कंजम्पन ऑफ एम्प्लॉय वर्किंग इन फैक्ट्री डिटरमाइन द अमाउंट ऑफ आई टी सी अवेलेबल टू ए बी सी लिमिटेड फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई बाय गिविंग नेसेसरी एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर यूर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेरियस आइटम्स ओके नॉट ऑल द कंडीशन नेसेसरी फॉर अवेलिंग द आई टी सी हैव बीन फुलफिल्ड ABC Company Limited is not eligible for any threshold exemption. ठीक है. Now, let's analyze the question. Electrical transformer is used for manufacturing process. It may be a capital goods uh, used for manufacturing process used in the business. You have to decide the eligibility. So yes, it would be. You can say it. It, it is used in the business. Truck and a motor vehicle used for material oh ho oh, motor vehicle go to section 17.5 go to section 17.5 aapko aata hoga to bhi job book mein wo page aapke dimag mein aisa fit ho jana chahiye 17.5 amendment for passenger transport credit restricted but for goods transport agar goods transport hoga to credit restrict nahi hoga material transport ke liye truck credit is available raw material credit is available confectionery item and a food item for employee food or okay food or beverages clause b section 175 okay read that no itc unless used for same category of supply you are not doing same category of supply next confectionery items for consumption of employee working in the factory theek hai so confectionery item is a food item Uh, and it is food or beverages not for further supply or not a part of composite or mixed supply then uh, yes credit should not be given 25000 to so first credit available second available third available fourth should not be given okay to so electrical transformer credit available truck use credit available raw material 2 lakhs and confectionery item nil see the way of presentation in this question i have given the reason itself in the particular scholar 
and no need to write notes separately. Uh, our presentation is the list of items, amount and reasons. Yeah, you can write reason itself there. So, while looking towards answer, see the difference in presentation also. Because in examination hall, you have to instantly decide the framework of your presentation, how you are going to present. Okay, and within a second, aapke saamne wo tiyar ho jana chahiye. So, in some question, I have made a three columns with reason. In some questions, I have given notes below. In this question itself, in particular column, these are the different way of presentation. But at that moment, in examination all, you have to quickly decide what to do. Done, beta. So, this is a discussion on this question. Okay. Now, next question, question number 59. Mr. X, a supplier of the goods, page GST under regular skin. Mr. X is not eligible for any threshold exemption. He has made a following outward supply, taxable supply in a tax period, intrastate and interstate supply is given. He has also furnished the following information in respect of the purchases made by him during that tax period, intrastate supply and intrastate purchases is given. Also opening stock of CGST, SGST and IGST is given. Some notes are given which are very important. Rate of CGST, SGST, IGST 9918. Both inward and outward supply are exclusive of taxes wherever applicable. All the conditions necessary for availing the ITC have been fulfilled. Compute net GST payable by Mr. X during the tax period makes suitable assumption as required. Now, first what you have to do net GST liability you have to calculate and you can take a suitable assumptions wherever required. Our steps are you ready? First question analysis, outward, outward supply is given, interstate and interest. Let us start with me this analysis which is very important. S Next, inward supply is given, uh, again interstate and intrastate, okay. And we have to calculate net GST liability, net GST liability, okay. Now second legal provision legal provision okay uh, about legal provision if you see the question carefully there is no uh, information like eligibility of ITC or uh, restrictions of ITC simply outward and inward supply is given so, which legal provision you are going to discuss here that is very important what do you think because no, simply inward and outward supply data is given. Simple data. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm. So, how you are going to solve this? Okay, which legal provision? If inward and outward supply and uh, inward supply is given, you have to calculate IGC. That means here utilization of ITC is very important and as per amendment provision, how you are going to because you have purchases interstate, intrastate, interstate IGST is there, intrastate CGST, SGST is there, Uske baad mein, okay, out, in outward supply interstate IGST is there and intrastate CGST or SGST is there, do you remember this? And you have to calculate net liability, that means utilization of ITC is important here. Now, if you remember amendment provision okay, about utilization of ITC, then better 
as per amendment provision see the chapter of payment of tax open that payment of tax and if you have an old book then refer the amendment provision payment of tax which is very important inward supply and outward supply inward supply igst arrange that cgst and sgst how to utilize igst first against igst second okay uh, second not then cgst and sgst in any way in any way you can utilize do you remember this amendment provision yes come on come on with me open the book okay yeah amendment notes see that payment of tax uh, section 49a 49b rule 88a do you remember yes so don't try to remember it yaar yeah. okay open your book or amendment notes okay refer that read with me along with that circular okay i am doing all this for you together let's solve the questions mujhe bhi student hi samjho now okay sgst again sorry cgst against cgst and igst and sgst against sgst and igst but first exhaust igst if igst is exhausted then use the itc of okay cgst and sgst if igst get exhausted then use the itc of cgst and sgst is it clear okay and another important uh, amendment here he first use cgst for igst payment and thereafter utilize cgsgst for igst payment okay done now no okay. okay designer framework first we are going to calculate uh, framework okay framework of the question one table yes come 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 with with, with me with me table for calculation of gst on outward supply okay first table second table for calculation of okay uh, yes come on come on come on for calculation of yes kya inward supply gst calculation third table calculation of net liability we are going to take a three table and now try to solve this with table that would be more better for you okay so let's start competition of total itc it's okay the itc table is there opening stock is given interest rate supply 3 lakhs itc is given with 9% rate interest rate supply 50000 is given total itc availability okay then computation of gst payable from cash ledger and a net liability so total gst 8 lakhs 3 lakhs total gst payable 70000 72000 and 54000 if you see that and third table third table whatever uh, in that third table whatever we have okay decided about the net liability that net liability utilization see it carefully utilization table oh ho utilization table i have not given separately but it's better for you if you draw utilization table separately okay in our format uh, okay in our format this utilization table should be like this hmm or uh, make that table even though i am not i have not given in answer but you have to make that table to get a clear understanding okay uh in this table first write down igst cgst and sgst okay uh tax on outward supply outward supply okay write down what is the outward supply of igst 54000 and 72000 okay less itc do this work with me make the problem more easier more easier so that you can revise day before examination 
easily. Okay, let's ITC, ITC of IGST. Take first IGST, second, okay, CGST, and third SGST. This is the perfect way of presentation. Okay, now what I suggest for outward supply also first take IGST and for inward supply also first take ITC. Both are very important. Why? Okay, uh, I am going to explain that. Okay, go slowly. Okay, why IGST better? Because as per law, first you have to adjust IGST. Hence, in my answer, whatever the table I have given, okay, don't just read that table. Make the answer more easier. Make that answer more easier. So, uh, what the law said? ITC of IGST. What is the ITC of IGST available with me? ITC of IGST seventy nine thousand. Okay, so this is seventy nine thousand. What is the ITC of CGST? Fifty seven thousand, fifty seven thousand. Okay, fifty seven thousand and fifty seven thousand. Okay, so seventy nine thousand. So here, so first, let's start utilization. This is the perfect way of presentation. Let's start utilization. Seventy nine thousand. First, utilize the ITC carefully. So, total first against payment of IGST, payment of IGST. So now fifty-four thousand I have utilized here. Okay, what is the balance? Uh, oh, oh, I don't have a calculator here. Hmm. Hmm. The balance you can utilize in any way. Okay, so remaining balance, I think, uh, yes, uh, twenty-five thousand, correct? Yes. Okay, twenty-five thousand. You can utilize twenty-five thousand in any manner as per the circular. मतलब you can utilize twenty-five thousand here, here zero. या फिर you can utilize twenty-five thousand here, here zero, or fifty-fifty percent, or seventy-thirty percent. What in any manner? In this, okay. So here. डेफिनेटली सभी स्टूडेंट का आंसर अलग अलग आ सकता है रिगार्डिंग यूटिलाइजेशन एंड नेट लाइबिलिटी ओके सो बिकॉज एनी मैनर इज अलाउड एंड यू हैव टू फॉलो दैट एनी मैनर ओके एज पर रूल एटी एट ए तो यहाँ आंसर सबका बदल सकता है ठीक है यू द आंसर माइट बी हेयर डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट्स वॉट आई हैव डन इन ओके प्रॉब्लम लेट सी फर्स्ट फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड ओके आई यूटिलाइज हियर सॉरी 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 आई जी एस टी फर्स्ट आई हैलाइज हियर करेक्ट एंड रिमेनिंग आई जी एस टी फुल्ली आई हैव यूटिलाइज इन एस जी एस टी एस जी एस टी ओके फुल्ली आई यूटिलाइज इन एस जी एस टी ओके ठीक है तो वॉट आई हैव डिड इन दिस प्रॉब्लम Let's see carefully. In this problem, okay, twenty-five thousand I have utilized fully in SGST and not here. It's okay. Or you can take fully in CGST, SGST zero, or you can take fifty-fifty. Whatever it would be of your answer. Okay, but this is the perfect way of presentation rather than what I have shown in the answers. Okay, so now uh, next fifty-seven thousand and fifty-seven thousand. Okay. So fifty-seven thousand. What I require? CGST utilization. Okay. So now step number two. Whether IGST fully exhausted? Yes. IGST fully exhausted. Then start utilization of ITC of CGST. That is fifty-seven thousand. So here CGST can be utilized. Okay. As per circular. ओके आई रिपीट एज पर सर्कुलर सी जी एस टी आप पहले किसके लिए यूज करो सी जी एस टी के लिए तो यहाँ फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड यहाँ आप इसके लिए यूज कर सकते हो ओके और रिमेनिंग फॉर आई जी एस टी बट नो रिक्वायरमेंट इन आई जी एस टी यू कैन नॉट यूज फॉर एस जी एस टी एंड रिमेनिंग फॉर फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड एस जी एस टी फर्स्ट यूटिलाइज अगेंस्ट एस जी एस टी वॉट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट एस जी एस टी एस जी एस टी रिक्वायरमेंट इज फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड Come on, okay. Remaining IGST but not required in CGST you cannot use. So you are I net G okay net tax payable payable 
here nil igst is nil okay uh, cgst is 15000 and sgst is also nil sgst is also nil but yes you will get different answer for different students because on the basis of utilization of igst credits again cgst and sgst अलग अलग स्टूडेंट का अलग अलग आंसर हो सकता है जैसे ये केस में आई है यूज एंटायरली फॉर एस जी एस टी यू मे ऑल्सो यूज फॉर सी जी एस टी यू कैन यूज हाफ ऑफ फॉर सी जी एस टी एंड एस जी एस टी और यू कैन यूज इन एनी प्रपोर्शनेट ऑफ सी जी एस टी एस जी एस टी इज इट क्लियर सो नाउ इन दिस केस दिस इज द वे ऑफ बायोफर्गेशन डन बेटा ओके आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन इज गुड स्पेशली फॉर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ आई you can make a star now next question 64 determine the amount of input tax credit available to geeta manufacturing company limited in respect of falling atoms procured by them in the month of november 2018 November 2018, ITC availability you have to fix. Okay, ITC availability you have to fix that. So eligibility of ITC. Let's read that question. Food and beverages procured from Chetali Sweet Smart for Traders Meeting program. Input used for pipeline structural layout outside the factory. good destroyed in transit then goods used for provision of service during warranty period okay inputs used for testing and quality control check and inputs used in a trial runs oh ho input used in a trial run okay let's start let's analyze the question carefully if it is based on eligibility then section 16 and section 17 five is important 16 one as well as conditions under 16 two okay also you must okay keep in mind section 16 three capital 16 four and etc what are the conditions given in section 16 okay so open your regular book okay let's analyze the question in questions food and beverage is covered inputs for pipeline structure layout outside the factory good destroyed in a transit okay so mostly section 17 five also is important okay open your book keep that book in front of you iske pehle bahut si bar padha hoga okay but repetitively you have to open your regular book that's all don't try to remember anything main bar bar keh raha hu this is the perfect way of reading anything which i personally believe repetition repetition without giving pressurizing your mind see the provision read the provision again and again this is the perfect way of solving question and answer okay so 17 five for first food and beverage ka milta hai food or beverage is aapko 17 five mein correct 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 go ahead dekho aapka mind kaam karega 17 five b okay as per amended provision refer refer that amendment provision 17 5b 17 5b me food and beverages not read read it again food and beverages credit is not available but if you it is used for same category of supply or as a part of composite or mixed supply then credit should be given whether in the same category of supply no it is for meeting program आई टी सी शुड नॉट बी गिवन मुझे लगता है इसका आई टी सी नहीं मिलना चाहिए आपको क्या लगता है देखो पर मुझे लगता है आई टी सी नहीं मिलना चाहिए दूसरा इनपुट यूज फॉर पाइपलाइन स्ट्रक्चर ले आउट आउटसाइड द फैक्ट्री पाइपलाइन स्ट्रक्चर ले आउट आउटसाइड द फैक्ट्री कुछ लिंक हो रहा है कहीं पर स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चर करेक्ट 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 प्लांट एंड मशीनरी any goods used for construction of plant and machinery then itc is available then itc is available go, go to section 17 5d open your book 
any goods or services used for construction of immovable property itc is not available but exception plant and machinery for plant and machinery itc should be given clear see that definition of plant and machinery yes with me see that definition of plant and machinery apparatus equipment machinery whether attached to the foundation or not etc in exception clause read, read it, don't see etc read it carefully but exclude telecommunication tower land and building and pipeline laid outside the factory yes that means pipeline laid outside the factory is not plant and machinery so yes rearrange the answer with me rearrange the answer means any goods use for this pipeline then it is not for plant and machinery hence credit should not be given it is an immovable property it is an immovable property so as a case mein credit should not be given goods destroyed in transit again section 175h goods lost or destroyed credit should not be given credit goods ha huh. goods used for provision of services during warranty period now goods are given during warranty period very important eligibility you have to fix the eligibility here carefully for warranty period okay uh theek hai kya lagta hai credit milega what do you think credit available or not see all goods go with section 16 all goods used in the business are eligible with various conditions assume that all conditions are fulfilled theek hai your process of thinking come come with me slowly all goods are eligible for itc second block credit itc is not available goods supplied during warranty period no where it is given that is a block credit yes in 175h if goods distributed as a free sample come on if goods distributed as a free sample or donation then credit should not be given for supplying goods during warranty period is not a free sample तो मुझे लगता है मिलना चाहिए देखते हैं आंसर हम दोनों देखते हैं पर मुझे लगता है कि मिलना चाहिए क्रेडिट सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड का यस क्रेडिट इज अवेलेबल बिकॉज इट इज इन द कोर्स ऑफ बिजनेस वारंटी देना ये इन द कोर्स ऑफ बिजनेस है और सेवनटीन में कहीं पे ये ब्लॉक क्रेडिट नहीं है तो हैंस क्रेडिट शुड बी गिवन वेरी गुड ठीक है उसके बाद में इनपुट यूज फॉर टेस्टिंग एंड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल चेक ओके Inputs used for testing and quality control check. Again, in 17 file, मैं बोल रहा हूँ इसलिए मत ये चेक करना. Quality control check you is a business activity, hence section 16 credit should be given. But subject to section 17 file, 17 file there is no block credit in this area. कहीं पे block credit नहीं है. क्वालिटी कंट्रोल चेक के लिए तो क्रेडिट शुड बी गिवन इनपुट यूज इन अ ट्रायल रन अगेन ट्रायल रन इज अ बिजनेस एक्टिविटी सेक्शन 16 इज क्लियर क्रेडिट शुड बी गिवन ओके इफ इनपुट्स यूज इन अ ट्रायल रन ठीक है तो क्रेडिट मिलना चाहिए ठीक है सेकंड ट्रायल रन तो हो गया बट एनी रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंड सेवनटीन फाइव नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन तो क्रेडिट शुड बी गिवन This is the way of your thinking while solving the problem. ये आपका तरीका होना चाहिए Done बेटा Okay, चलिए And write the notes accordingly. But see the way of presentation. In earlier problem, somewhere I have given reasons itself in particular column. Particular column में reasons दे दिए कुछ cases में separate third column is made for reason. Here I have given notes below. Another way of presentation. no lengthy notes is given you simply can write food and beverages is not lend but simply you can write ki itc should not be given 
okay so see these notes carefully make it short if you are not able to complete within time then isko simple karo short karo koshish karo okay definitely you can do that okay so 60 it is over now next question question number 73 usha electronics paying tax under composition scheme has crossed the threshold and become liable to pay tax under regular scheme okay on 4 to 2018 can it avail input tax credit if so calculate the amount of itc available okay now details of input tax credit available with usha electronics on 3rd of february 2018 is as follows okay is as follows the details of uh, input tax credit available with usha electronics as on 3rd of feb 2018 is as follows input lying in stock as on the date invoice dated on 14th january 2018 cgst sgst is given input lying in semi finished goods in stock as on the date and capital goods procured on 2010-2017, invoice dated 22nd October 2017. Okay. First of all, our steps, very very important. First, analysis of question. Second, legal provision. Mere saathi likhna. Third, Connect question with legal provision. Yes, come on. Fourth, design the framework of the answer. And fifth, read the answer. And sixth, solve the question. Okay, try to solve the answers. Presentation. Okay, first analysis. What is the analysis of this question? Usha Electronics, Pella step, assess is Usha Electronics. Okay. Second, okay, paying tax under composition scheme has crossed the threshold and become liable to pay tax under regular scheme. Now composition scheme threshold means 1.5 CR and regular scheme. Matlab, earlier under composition under composition and second next thereafter normal normal theek hai can it avail itc if so calculate the amount of itc available details of input tax rate available on elect on third of so this switching is done on fourth of feb 18 stock position stock of 3rd of feb 3rd of feb 18 is given stock position of 3rd of feb of 18 is given okay clear done now what we should do analysis say decide eligibility of itc of stock eligibility of itc of stock okay okay now turn to legal provision which provision you are going to refer? Kaunsa provision refer karo ke? 16? Nahi. 17? Nahi. 18? Switching? Yes, yes, yes. Switching. Achha. Switching mein, go, go to, open your book. Open your book. Switching mein, aapka normal switching and ulta switching. This is normal. Earlier in composition, okay, composition and now taxable, covered under section 18.1. 18.1, I think 18.1 C is there, you can refer that. Chalo, padho mere saath, what 18.1 C said, pause this lecture, read that provision carefully. Hmm. 18.1c, what do you say? 
एडिन वन से ये कहता है कि इफ यू स्विच फ्रॉम कंपोजिशन टू टैक्सीबल देन प्रोसीडिंग डेट ऑफ स्विचिंग मतलब अवर डेट ऑफ स्विचिंग इज फोर्थ ऑफ फेब प्रोसीडिंग डेट थर्ड ऑफ फेब वॉट एव द स्टॉक ऑफ इनपुट्स लाइंग इन स्टॉक और डब्ल्यू आई पी यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर आई टी सी और कंटेन इन फाइनल प्रोडक्ट यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर आई टी सी एंड फॉर कैपिटल गुड्स यू कैन टेक द आई टी सी ओके यू कैन टेक द आई टी सी रिड्यूस बाय फाइव परसेंट पर क्वार्टर रिड्यूस बाय फाइव परसेंट पर क्वार्टर एंड एज पर द क्लैरिफिकेशन गिवन बाय आई सी ए आई ये मेरा इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है एज पर द क्लैरिफिकेशन गिवन बाय आई सी ए आई क्वार्टर शुड बी कैलकुलेटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कैलेंडर क्वार्टर कैलेंडर क्वार्टर जिन्होंने एक डेढ़ साल पहले क्लास लिया था मैंने क्वार्टर स्टार्ट किया फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ इन वॉइस बट द क्वार्टर फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ इन वॉइस इज नॉट रिलेवेंट हियर बिकॉज इन आर टी पी आई सी ए आई है क्लैरिफाइड दैट कि क्वार्टर डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्वार्टर इज बेस्ड ऑन कैलेंडर क्वार्टर इज वेरी लेट दिस क्लैरिफिकेशन केम वेरी लेट बट ओके वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट कैलेंडर क्वार्टर नाउ योर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ टू टेक कैलेंडर क्वार्टर ओके कैलेंडर क्वार्टर आई विल एक्सप्लेन द थिंग्स ओके लेटर ऑन दिस इज योर एनालिसिस बट डोंट डो स्टॉप दैट स्टॉप दैट ओके जल्दबाजी मत करो ओके डोंट रश ओके सो नाउ एटीन टू 18 टू से कि वॉट एवर द आई टी सी आर गोइंग टू टेक ऑफ इनपुट अंडर एटीन वन रीड दैट प्रोविजन केयरफुली ऑल दोज परचेस ऑफ गुड्स शुड बी इन लास्ट वन ईयर और आई टी सी इज अवेलेबल ऑनली ऑफ दैट गुड्स विच इज इन लास्ट वन ईयर फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ इंड वॉइस ओके दिस टू प्रोविजन आर इंपॉर्टेंट Now connect given question with legal provision. Okay, given question with legal provision. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is given question? Yes, Usha Electronics. Hmm. Okay, Usha Electronics. Given question. In okay, uh, switching is happen on fourth of Feb. day before switching third feb information is given now input lying in stock as on date invoice date 14th jan okay 14th at 2018 then purchases of last one year from the date of invoice okay itc is available goods in wip purchases in november last one year itc should be given capital goods procured on 20th october invoice 22nd october 17 yes last one year invoice to be given okay itc should be given now design the framework of the answer section 181c legal provision 182 that is also important 181c is important i personally believe कि एटीन टू भी लिखना चाहिए लास्ट वन ईयर लास्ट वन ईयर आईटीसी इसमें नहीं कोट किया पर आपने लिखना चाहिए ओके एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर रूल फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट पर क्वार्टर दैट शुड बी टेकन तो फर्स्ट आईटीसी अवेलेबल टोटल एलिजिबल क्रेडिट सेकंड वन आल्सो टोटल एलिजिबल क्रेडिट दूसरा भी मिलेगा आपको कैपिटल गुड्स एलिजिबल क्रेडिट ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स हाउ टू कैलकुलेट लेट स्टार्ट एलिजिबल क्रेडिट ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स डेट ऑफ इनवॉइस ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स अक्टूबर डेट ऑफ स्विचिंग इज फोर्थ ऑफ फेब बट ओहो वी हैव टू टेक कैलेंडर क्वार्टर 
not from the date of invoice make the correction here number of quarters based on calendar quarter calendar quarter this is important you have to do this correction so calendar quarter is important so calendar quarter uh, october october third quarter to so take third quarter see okay, tell, how to calculate calendar quarter jo bhi date ka invoice hoga invoice is of date of 22nd october 2017 to october fall in third quarter october november december so third quarter and a one and date of switching is in january february february any part of the quarter is stated as full quarter and a second quarter so don't take from the date of invoice date of if you take it from date of invoice then it would be a three quarter okay it would be a three quarter but okay here in rtp our icai has clarified that okay same for cma and cs take calendar quarter because quarter definition is given in this act so here these are two quarters and not three quarters okay these are two quarters the calculation done i have done for two quarters but by mistake i have written three quarters so two quarters should be taken that is 3600 reduce that 3200 okay the 20400 i repeat you must take calendar quarter okay you must take calendar quarter rather than invoice from the date of invoice so every student must do this correction is it clear okay Seventy-five. Quanta Limited, Quanta Limited is not required to register under CGST Act 2017, but it wishes to obtain voluntary registration. So it applied voluntary registration on 17th September. Okay, important facts: voluntary registration, date of application 17th September, and registration certificate has been granted to it on 25th. September. Okay, RC is on twenty fifth September. The CGST and SGST liability for the month of September two thousand seventeen twenty four thousand each. Quanta Limited provides following information of inputs and capital goods held in stock on twenty fourth September seventeen. He is not engaged in making any interstate outward taxable supplies. CA final November old syllabus. This question was asked. details of inputs are given inputs lying in stock procured on in september 17 hmm. input received on 21st august contain in semi finished goods value of inputs contain in finished goods held in stock 2 lakhs were procured on 19 september 2016 inputs valued 50000 procured on 13th September 2017 lying in stock related nine thousand capital goods. You are required to compute amount of tax to be paid in cash by Quanta Limited for the month of September 2017. Amount to be paid in cash. You are also required to mention the reasons for treatment of all of our items. Oh, oh, oh. Design the scope of questions. Okay, in this question, I am going to add one step more. In our six-step formula, okay, a six fundas by C. Vishal sir. One funda I am going to add also. That is design the scope of the problem. Okay, I am scope be pata hona chahiye ki what answer we have to write here. First analysis of the question. first step analysis okay analysis of this question okay uh, analysis uh, here okay let's try uh, quanta limited is the assessee first assessee is quanta 
limited. Do with me, do with me. Together let us solve this question. I am giving this time. Do not just listen. Okay, solve with me. Lagne do time jitna lagta hai. Okay. Uh, second applied for voluntary registration second facts applied for voluntary registration third date apply application date application date is 17th september 17 September 2017. Okay. 2017. Application date. Next facts. RC 25th September. RC 25th September 17. Ka hai. Theek hai. Iske baad mein. Quantum limited provides following information of inputs and capital goods held in stock. On 20 stock position is given. Stock position of 24 September is given. Okay. Done. This is uh, 74. 75. Okay, better done. So, uh, next step analysis is done. Legal provision. Okay, legal provision. Again, uh, this is earlier. Do the analysis. Earlier unregistered, now registered. Voluntary registration, date of registration, ah, very important, do the analysis properly. In case of voluntary registration, read the provision of section 25, even the question related to ITC. Voluntary registration, you are said to be a registered person from the date when RC is received and not from the date of date when you liable to registration or when you make the application. No. If you are taking voluntary registration, then your effective date of registration is date of RC. So, effective date of registration is date of RC that means 25th September 17. A stock of earlier 25th 24th November 17 is given. Now, read again. Do not get bored. Do not get bored. Okay. Read again section 18 switching. Whether it is normal switching or ulta switching. Ulta matlab reverse switching. No, it is normal. Covered by section 18.1. Legal provision. Section 18.1. I think clause B, read that clause, pause this lecture, read it carefully. What that clause B said? In case of voluntary registration, ITC is available of that stock preceding the date when your RC is received. Come on, when your RC is received. In clause A, if you read clause A, where you liable for registration, and applied within 30 days, then effective date when you liable for registration. But in clause B, in case of voluntary registration, in case of voluntary registration, come on, come on. Yes, yes, in case of voluntary registration, what? Hmm. Date of RC, stock you have to take. This is 18-1, 18-2, last one year. Read it carefully. Last one year, okay. On that basis, okay. Third, legal provision and our question. Let's connect. Let's connect. Start with me. Okay. Inputs procured, our date of switching is 25th, 17. 25th September 17. 
preceding date 24th september 24th september 17 theek hai input procured itc of inputs in stock wip or in final product available capital goods not available read it carefully composition scheme mein milta hai in c clause d clause for capital goods but in b clause capital goods itc not available only inputs is available read it carefully then okay now input must be procured in last one year from the date of invoice matlab your date of switching must fall within one year from the date of invoice so this second september 2019 itc should be given available okay inputs contain in semi finished goods in august within one year it itc should be given value of inputs contain in finished goods were procured on 19th september 2016 19th september 2016 oh 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 in finished goods 19 september 2016 in last one year date of switching is 24 september itc should not be given is ka itc nahi milega this procurement also on 13 september itc should not be given capital should not be given to mere hisab se aapko jo itc aana chahiye yes हाँ नहीं नहीं सॉरी 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 इट्स माय मिस्टेक इनपुट वैल्यूड फिफ्टी इज प्रोक्योर्ड लैंग इन स्टॉक ये डेट सितंबर का है सेवनटीन का ही है थर्टीन सितंबर इसका आईटीसी मिल जाना चाहिए तो आईटीसी जो है आपका यस सेकंड हियर यू मस्ट राइट सीजीएसटी एंड एसजीएसटी एंड आईजीएसटी in this answer itc should be given capital goods no itc this is total amount of itc read this notes carefully so okay you design the framework of the answer okay scope of the answer okay uh, i have directly seen the answer but you don't see that <laughs> okay so now aap mat dekho now ab aise ki isme scope unhone kya kaha calculate the tax paid in cash don't see the answer tax paid in cash that means net gst liability uh, sorry in, uh, by e cash ledger you have to calculate that means first okay fourth design your answer okay first table output tax liability whatever it is given in the problem yes it is given in the problem output tax liability for the month of september is also given you we miss this fact while analyzing the question yes this mistake also from me because in analysis you have to write output tax liability is also given i miss this fact but you don't be careful theek hai now this fact is also important tax liability okay that table so your first table net tax liability second itc eligibility and third you also design the notes what types of notes you have to write i have given lengthy notes but make it summarized okay chhota sa no okay pad lo wahan summary karo notes ki summarize the notes and attach here theek hai so this is 675 now नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी एट मिसेस ब्लू इंडिया लिमिटेड हैज बीन एग्जेप्टेड फ्रॉम जीएसटी विथ इफेक्ट फ्रॉम टेंथ जून ओके अर्लियर दिस गुड्स वर लायबल टू जीएसटी एट द रेट सिक्स परसेंट रिस्पेक्टिवली फॉलोइंग इंफॉर्मेशन इज प्रोवाइडेड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट me 2019 okay 
the input costing 130000 inclusive of cgst and sgst at the rate 18% are lying in stock okay input costing 53000 100 cgst sgst 18% are held in process next the finished goods valuing 295000 are in stock the input cost inclusive of CGST, SGST 18% is 30% of value. The input tax credit on capital goods lying in stock 90,000. These goods were purchased on 17th September 2018. Balance in electronic credit ledger is 1,75,000. Department has asked Messrs. Blue India Limited to reverse the credit taken on inputs referred above. However, Messrs. Blue India limited content in that once the validity taken is void, once the validity is taken is void and not required to reverse. Blue India limited content in that once validity taken is void and not required to reverse. Determine what your answer would be if balance in electronic credit ledger as on 31st May 2019 is 1 lakh. I think there is one correction. There should be one correction in this problem. Okay. Make this date. It is a typological mistake. Make this date 1st June. 1st June 2019. 1st June 2019. So, the previous date data is 31st May 2019. Now, it is a correct problem. First step analysis. On 1st June 2019, okay, now taxable become exempt on this date taxable become exempt ok so taxable become exempt second data stock of first may 2019 is given third what they want to say <laughs> stock of import stock of etc and uh, stock contain in finished goods thereafter itc of capital goods balance in electronic credit ledger all these things are given take stock of inputs input in stock in wip and in final product in final product what is the data 30% Thirty percent of value. Thirty percent of value. ठीक है. Next capital goods is given. ITC of capital goods, and thereafter balance in electronic credit ledger. Electronic credit ledger. Balance is given, and that balance around. Yes, one lakh seventy five thousand. Whether reversal of credit is required? Okay, don't see the answer. Don't see the answer. Second, legal provision. Okay, which legal provision are you going to take here? It is a switchy. Okay, open your book. Every time, open your book. Okay, I think section eighteen. Achha, this switching is from uh, non-taxable to taxable or taxable to exempt. Matlab, see, 18 one covered earlier you are not paying tax and now or you are paying uh, uh, tax under composition scheme, now under normal scheme. This is reverse case. Reverse case means earlier you are taxable, now under exemption. I think 18.4 is applicable. Pause my lecture. Read that 18.4 carefully with rules. Uh, yes, come on, with rules. 
have you read that okay so don't ignore don't ignore honestly padha hoga to batana to aage badhenge theek hai sahi pravachan mat suno so 184 what 184 says now whatever the itc of icg and inputs in stock okay on that date matlab preceding date this is first of may preceding date required to reverse pay or reverse reverse also capital goods itc required to reverse as per rule but on pro rata basis for remaining useful life here don't consider 5% on pro rata basis basis for remaining useful life remaining useful life useful life and take the useful life 5 years of the capital goods okay now what are the itc you are going to calculate you have to reverse from electronic credit ledger and balance will be payable this is the provision okay now connect the question step number 3 connect the question with legal provision six fundas of vishal sir theek hai now uh also you have to fix the scope what is the scope of this question scope this is in your analysis scope of this question you have to calculate reversal of itc reversal of itc then second you have to validate the contention taken by ssc validate the contention taken by ssc and third okay would your answer differ in a balance in electronic credit ledger is different now scope of the question i have kept in mind accordingly connect the question with legal provision means what we have to do okay cgst sgst 18% are lying in stock costing 130000 you have to reverse the credit again you have to reverse the credit of 53100 next 2 lakhs 95000 ka 30% of that cgst uh, sorry cgst sgst you have to credit reverse the credit now input tax credit on capital goods lying in stock 90000 this would be purchase on 17th september 2018 okay so you have to calculate uh, remaining useful life of this uh, capital goods from the date of purchase what should be remaining useful life of this capital goods now for that you have, you required one working note balance in electronic credit ledger so next step okay okay uh, we have connected our question with legal provision fourth number design the framework of the answer framework of the answer okay after reading the scope reversal of itc contention that means we have to prepare the table okay what kind of table we required here number of table uh, yes uh, reversal of itc reversal of itc second okay uh, deduct from steps deduct from electronic cash credit ledger balance payable payable or lapse balance is payable if excess balance in electronic credit ledger then that will lapse okay do you remember that provision then uh, also you have to write the comment the validity of assc he said no need to reverse the credit and last would your answer differ okay if balance in electronic credit ledger is different that means have we okay design the answers and its scope now table reversal of itc next step for reversal of itc you have to prepare the table how you are going to prepare the table imagine particular cgst sgst two different data is given okay accordingly you have to calculate chalo read the answer next step okay answer first i have given legal provision 
Okay, legal provision I have given. Thereafter, uh, input lying in stock, direct 18 percent I have taken. But in this case, uh, you can take separately CGST and SGST. That is more convenient. Uh, here I have taken completely 18 percent. Here no problem, no issue. But it is better if you take CGST, SGST separately because data is given okay, uh, on the basis of CGST and SGST. So, input reversal, process reversal, 30 percent reversal of finished goods and capital goods reversal. Ha. For capital goods reversal in your answer, okay, reversal of ITC, cap for capital goods one working note is required. Okay. Uh, it is better if you write working note as per rule 44, okay. but I have given in this answer working note here, I have working note. De now, your re residual life, read the provision carefully, residual life, use for 9 month, that means your re residual life is 51. <laughs> Okay, residual life is for 51 month. Chalo, theek hai. Ye 51 month kaise nikla? Thoda hum iska calculation karte hai. September mein purchase kiya tha. Theek hai. To September to October, October to November. Okay, from the date of procurement. Here don't take calendar quarter, calendar month. Okay, because here they have not used the word quarter. Yahan quarter word use nahi kiya hai. Yahan pe, okay, remaining useful life on the basis of 5 years nikalna hai. Isle September to October, October to November, November to December, December to January, January to February, February to March, March to April, April to May, May to June. Okay, any part of the month will be treated as complete month. Okay, so your nine months is your use. Okay, life. So any part would be treated as completely used life. Read that example which I have given in rule 44. Okay, rule 44 I have given example diya hai. Kuch agar extra hota hai, part hota hai, to use me consider kar liya jata hai. The remaining useful life is for 51 months. Okay, divided by 60. So, your ITC is 90,000, accordingly 76,500. Amount to be paid by Blue Limited. Okay, 1,17,930. Your balance is 1,75,000. Okay, 17930 is payable, balance will lapse. Remaining, agar aapka credit ledger mein 1 lakh 10,000 hoga, to this balance amount is payable. Okay, so easy problem, but uh, yes, it's my suggestion ki if you try this problem at home, do some writing practice, okay, to ye problem writing practice ke liye lo, it will help you. But okay, when you are going to solve this problem, Okay, take CGST and SGST column separately and at the, at the end make the total. That would be more better for you. And there is one typological mistake instead of 10 6 2019, take 1 6 2019 here. Okay, done. Question number 78. Question number 83. Okay. Daksh Limited, a manufacturer. Demerge its entity into DG Gold Limited and DG Gold Limited Testing Limited. The total value of asset of Dux Limited is 45 lakhs and unutilized credit on account of CGST, ST and IGST remaining balance is given. Value of asset of DG Gold Limited and DG Gold Testing Limited is 20 lakhs and 25 lakhs respectively. Discuss the eligibility of credit transfer to new units on account of demerger. On account of demers. Okay, better. Again, read provision. Uh, which provision are you going to read? Yes, come on. Section 18. Open section 18. Then go to 18.3. Okay, transfer of credit. 18.3. Read that provision carefully. Okay, may yaha wait karuga for provision dhan se padho. Pause this lecture. ठीक है बेटा आपने प्रोविजन पढ़ी ठीक है पढ़ी आपने प्रोविजन चलिए नाउ ये जो है यहां पे इन केस ऑफ सेल मर्जर 
demerger, transfer. Okay, transferer can transfer entire liability to transferee. Okay, liability अगर पूरी shift हो जाती है, then credit can be transferred. So in such case, first you have to write section 18.3 provision. With specific transfer of liability, this word is very important. Then unutilized credit of transferer can be continued by transferring that provision. Also read the rule. What the rule said? Okay, for transfer of ITC, that rule is very important. Okay, next rule 41. If you are able to quote this rule, then good. But especially in case of demer unit, what you have read? Okay, read. Don't read the answer. Demer unit. For demer unit, yes, come on. For demer unit, whatever the value of asset transfer, value of asset transfer, in proportionate to that, you can transfer the ITC. In proportionate to that, you can transfer the ITC. Is it clear? Now next, value of asset includes all asset, whether or not ITC has been taken. This is the amendment. Okay, आपने हो सकता है ITC लिया हो वो asset का या नहीं लिया हो. But value of asset निकालते time आपको total asset value लेनी पड़ेगी जितना आपने transfer किया है. Is it clear? तो ये एक amendment थी यहाँ पे. Entire asset of the business, whether ITC has been taken or not. Value of asset. ओके okay, दक्ष का नौ यहाँ पे 45 था डीमर्ज हो गया 20 लाख 25 लाख आईटीसी जो है अकॉर्डिंगली सीजीएसटी एसजीएसटी आईजीएसटी ये रेशियो में जितना ओके okay, डीमर्ज हो गया यूनिट वो रेशियो में डिवाइड हो गया यानी यू कैन से 20 टू 25 ओके ये रेशियो में डिवाइड हो गया एंड अकॉर्डिंगली आई हैव डिवाइडेड द आईटीसी सो सी द प्रेजेंटेशन Okay, now focus on the presentation. Have you read the answer? Okay, read this answer carefully. Then focus on the presentation and just point out what the points you are going to write in this answer. This is the way of presentation. Chalo. Question number 83 is over. Now, question number 85. This is examination question. <laughs> on 25th August 2017, Messrs. Agrawal and Agrawal Limited, a registered supplier of textile product located in Bangalore, purchased one machine of Rs. 12,39,000 including IGST, including IGST from one supplier of Maharashtra who issued an invoice on the same date. Messrs. Agrawal, Agrawal Limited put the machinery to use on the same day and avail ITC for eligible amount. Mrs. Agrawal Agrawal sold this machine after using the machine in the process of manufacture of taxable goods for Rs. 7,50,000 excluding IGST to Mr. Suresh Kumar for Andhra Pradesh on 20th August. During the purchase as well as sale of the machinery, IGST rate is 18%. Is Mrs. Agrawal and Agrawal Limited required to pay GST? If yes, calculate the amount of tax payable under GST law at the time of sale of machine. Also briefly state the relevant statutory provision. Now, have, re, have you read this question carefully? Examination question. Just imagine you are sitting in an examination hall. Abhi to mere saath practice kar rahe ho. You are doing the practice with me. Together we are solving the question. But it's my suggestion gradually when you are okay, going for second revision, then also fix the time limit. Okay, within this time, I am go going to solve the entire question with notes. For one mark, take 1.6 minutes. That an ideal time for one mark. Done better? Chaliya. Okay. Thoda dhyan dijiye ka? Yaan pe. Analysis of the question, step number one. Okay, every okay, and in analysis, every point you must consider. Agrawal, taxpayer. Yes, start with me. Okay, Agrawal and Agrawal. Capital goods, machinery is purchased on dated 
were 25th August 2017 25th August 2017 okay next facts value of machine 12 lakh 39000 including gst including igst next purchase from maharashtra from maharashtra date of purchase date of purchase yes this fact is also important date of purchase and use is same date 25th august 17 yes with me aap apna try karo main apna analysis try karta hu dekhte hai kiska match hota hai okay both together let's analyze the situation do your analysis by yourself i will do my own analysis let's match okay thereafter machine is sold sale of machine sale of machine by 20th august 2018 okay value for the machine sale value 7 lakh 50 thousand excluding igst 7 lakh 50 thousand excluding igst next it is sold on 20th august next igst rate igst rate that is 18 percent for purchase and sale now next step scope of question you have to require to pay gst calculate gst payable at the time of sale sale and second explain relevant provision relevant provision this is your scope according to scope we will design the answers clear chalo analysis is done step number 2 legal provision step number 2 okay what is that legal provision now in legal provision okay machinery let's analyze the facts again machinery is purchased and thereafter sold what you suggest in this itc chapter ओके okay, और वैसे भी एग्जाम में जब क्वेश्चन आएगा तो आपको ये क्लिक होना चाहिए कि मशीनरी परचेस एंड सोल्ड तो क्या कौन सा प्रोविजन अप्लाई होगा बिकॉज इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव नॉट ओके नो वेर मैंशन आई टी सी एंड एक्सेट्रा जस्ट अ केस स्टडी इज गिवर एंड यू हैव टू एनालाइज दिस केस स्टडी ऑन द फैक्ट्स ऑफ द केस सी दिस ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एम सी when our institute is going to ask MCQ, MCQ question on case study base, this analysis of the facts is very important Okay, to solve that MCQ question. Is it clear? Come on. Come on. Yes. Hmm. Legal provision. Kuch yaad aare aapko? Sivam ITC chapter mein isle nahi. Okay. Agar mein aapke jaga hota, तो मशीनरी सेल किया तो इट्स अ सप्लाई अंडर सेक्शन सेवन वन ए सप्लाई अंडर सेक्शन सेवन वन ए अल्सो दे इज सेक्शन एटीन सिक्स इफ यू रिमेंबर यस एटीन सिक्स मुझे क्लिक हो रहा है कि जहाँ मशीनरी सेल किया वेस्ट और स्क्रैप का भी प्रोविजन था एटीन सिक्स याद करो चलो ओपन योर बुक मेरे साथ बुक ओपन करो 186 पढ़ते हैं ध्यान से पढ़ते हैं व्हाट 186 सेड एटीन सिक्स मैं भी आपके साथ पढ़ता हूँ 
अगर आपने बुक ओपन किया होगी तो सप्लाई ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स और प्लांट एंड मास्टरी ऑन विच आई टी सी हैज बिन टेकन ओपन किया चलो मेरे साथ पढ़ो आप पढ़ो मैं पढ़ता हूँ बेटा टाइम लग रहा होगा लगने दो जिसको सुनना है मेरा क्वेश्चन है सुने ना सुनना है ना सुने पर बेटा मैं एक एक क्वेश्चन बहुत अच्छे से आप गो एट पॉज माई लेक्चर आप पढ़ो ध्यान से हाँ पढ़ लिया आपने प्लांट एंड मशीनरी अगर सेल होती है तो जिसका आई से आपने लिया ए प्लांट एंड मशीनरी सोल्ड ऑन विच आई टी सी हैज बिन टेकन आई टी सी हैज बिन टेकन रजिस्टर पर्सन शल पे एन अमाउंट इक्वल्स टू दैट कैपिटल गुड्स अमाउंट पेबल इक्वल्स टू आई टी सी टेकन ऑन दिस कैपिटल गुड्स और प्लांट एंड मशीनरी रिड्यूस बाय सच परसेंटेज पॉइंट एज प्रिस्क्राइब नाउ और टैक्स ऑन ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू विच एवर इज हायर देन टैक्स ऑन ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू विच एवर इज हायर इन केस ऑफ मोल डाई जिक्स एंड फिक्चर्स सप्लाइड एज अ स्क्रैप देन ऑनली ऑन ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू ऑनली मतलब पे डायरेक्टली ऑन ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू बट दिस रिड्यूस बाय सच परसेंटेज पॉइंट एस मे बी प्रिस्क्राइब नाउ देर इज अ कन्फ्यूजन कि कैपिटल गुड्स का कितना कम करना है हैव रीड दैट प्रोविजन कैपिटल गुड्स का कितना कम करना है दिस सिचुएशन कवर्ड इन रूल फोर्टी टू फोर्टी सब रूल टू एंड फोर्टी फोर सब रूल सिक्स नहीं समझ में आ रहा है तो रूल फोर्टी सब रूल टू और रूल फोर्टी फोर सब रूल सिक्स पीछे जाके पढ़ो पॉज दिस लेक्चर ना मैं आपको एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ तो बेटा यहाँ पे आपको वो क्या कहते हैं वो ये कहते हैं कि आप जब मशीनरी परचेज करके सेल करोगे तो फिर अगर और आपने आईटीसी लिया होगा तो वो सिचुएशन में जो आपने आईटीसी लिया है ओके उसका कुछ परसेंटेज से रिड्यूस करके कम ऑन कुछ परसेंटेज से रिड्यूस करके ओके यहाँ पे बाकी आपको पे करना पड़ेगा और टैक्स ऑन ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू विच एवर इज हायर Tax on transaction value whichever is higher. Okay, so this is the legal provision. Also, there is a confusion. Rule forty sub rule two and rule forty four sub rule six. There are two methods of percentage of reduction. In rule forty sub rule two, five percent per calendar quarter. I repeat, five percent per calendar quarter. Okay, you have to reduce and balance is payable. and under rule 446 now okay you have to calculate remaining useful life okay so whatever the remaining useful life that amount required to be paid at the time of taking regular class or fast track full course whatever it may be i told you these two methods are given okay and in both the rules covered rule 44 480 section 186 both the rules cover section 186 but okay i told you go with rule 40 sub rule 2 because yet there is no clarification go with rule 40 sub rule 2 means what means here okay take that 5% per quarter a reduction rather than doing remaining useful life on pro rata basis take 5% per quarter and this 5% per quarter on calendar quarter या आप रिमेनिंग यूजफुल लाइफ का अमाउंट भी निकाल सकते हो दैट अमाउंट इज पेबल और टैक्स ऑन ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू विच एवर इज हायर बट आई सजेस्ट गो विथ फाइव परसेंट इन माई क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन फाइव परसेंट ओके सो आई एम गोइंग विथ फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज इट क्लियर चल आई हैव रीड दिस लीगल प्रोविजन माई सेकेंड स्टेप इज ओवर ओके माई सेकेंड स्टेप इज ओवर now third step what is my third step connect legal provision legal provision and question now question okay i have purchased the machine on 25th sale is on 20th august 2018 20th august 2018 so amount is payable okay amount is payable 
that is what your ITC minus 5 percent if I take 5 percent or amount is payable equals to what are the remaining useful life remaining useful life or tax on TV whichever is higher whichever is higher now ok framework design the framework answer, answer ok kya kya hoga so now I have to write legal provision ok section 18.6 also ok 5 percent wala clause as per rule 40 sub rule 2 if you remember the rule quote that rule it is better for you if you are not going with rule 40 sub rule 2 then rule 44 sub rule 6 whatever the rules you are going to quote ok according matlab jaisa aapka answer hoga on remaining useful life your 5 percent wo rule quote karo ok and third step calculate uh, 18 percent on sales value fourth whichever is higher that amount required to be paid ok so here if I take calendar quarter ok from to date of sale then my number of quarter I personally believe huh. So, my number of quarter dekh lo kitna hoga. So, uh, yes, August, August fall in second quarter, calendar quarter, second, third, fourth, and three quarter, pehle financial year ke, aur uske baad mein do quarter, dusre financial year ke, panch quarter ka reduction hoga, and after reduction of that amount, 1,41,000, or transaction value which is higher 141,750 is payable at the time of supply. Okay, I also have given the note ki said amount also to be calculated as per section 18.6 with rule 44 sub rule 6 based on remaining useful life of the capital goods. Okay, remaining useful life means you don't have to take it. If you tell me that remaining useful life, then what do you have to do? This is not 5% of this. This amount required to be paid under A. How does it get out of A? So, this is what you have to do. Whatever the remaining useful life. Remaining useful life, how does it get out of A? From the date of invoice. What was the date of invoice? 25th August. How much time you have used here? 20 August. You have used it. मतलब आपने लगभग 12 महीने यूज कर लिया हाँ पूरा 12 महीना एनी पार्ट उसको भी फुल ले लेना तो आपने 12 महीने यूज यूज कर लिया तो व्हाट इज रिमेनिंग यूजफुल लाइफ ओके तो 60 माइनस फाइव एस आप अज्यूम कर सकते हो तो 60 माइनस ट्वेल्व मतलब कितना बचा 40 है तो यूअर आईटीसी क्रेडिट कितना था आपका तो आपका आई क्रेडिट आया क्योंकि वो इंक्लूडिंग जी था तो आई क्रेडिट वन लैख तो वन लैख uh, yes, 1,89,000 into 48 divided by 60. Okay. So, ye aisa bhi nikal sakte ho. Rather than reducing 5% per quarter, ye jo bhi amount aayega or 1,35,000 whichever is higher. Ye bhi option aap le sakte ho, but accordingly you have to write the okay, notes for that. Okay, better. Now, question number 94. Bedi manufacturer, Bedi manufacturer, a registered person, instruct its supplier to send the capital goods directly to Rajesh Enterprises, who is a job worker, outside its factory premises for carrying out certain operation on the goods. Okay, the goods were sent by supplier on 10th April 2018, and were received by job worker on 15th April 2018. Okay. Rajesh Enterprises carried out job work but did not return the capital goods to their principal, Bedi Manufacturer. Discuss whether Bedi Manufacturer are eligible to retain ITC available by them on capital goods. What action under GST Act is required to be taken by Bedi Manufacturers? What would your answer in place of capital goods? In place of capital goods, jigs fixtures are supplied to job worker and same has not been returned to the principal. CA final November 18 old syllabus. Now our first analysis. Your analysis and scope 
of the question is very very important the entire law is based on that the first step analysis yes bore ho raha hoga to bhi chalo mere sath yahi hai padhai karne ka tarika beta agar aapko pass hona hai aapko ca banna hai to yahi padhai karne ka tarika hai dusra koi tarika nahi hai okay patience that patience is very important analysis read the answer analysis read the answer okay read the provisions from the books no other way take it analysis come on come on okay take notebook do the analysis with me okay chalo pehla assessee tax payer bedi manufacturer second purchase capital goods capital goods third year analysis okay directly sent to the job worker sent to job worker fourth who is the job worker job worker rajesh manufacturer okay there after goods are sold sent uh, goods were sent to supply sent by supplier on 10 okay supplier has delivered on 10th of uh, april 18 job worker received job worker received it by 15th april 18 by 15 april 18 and capital goods not return not return next scope what is the scope of answer and what we have to do what action under gst act is required by bedi manufacturer what action by bedi manufacturer okay and second one what would be your answer if place of capital goods six fixtures are supplied what if six or fixtures supplied okay done second legal pro okay जॉब वर्क देन सेक्शन 19 एंड सेक्शन 143 इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस इज सेपरेट प्रोविजन फॉर जॉब वर्क ओके सो यू कैन रीड बोथ द सेक्शंस फर्स्ट ओपन योर बुक सेक्शन 19 एंड सेक्शन 143 ओके स्पेडिली विथ मी कम ऑन पॉज दिस लेक्चर और जब तक आपका कंप्लीट नहीं होता है लेक्चर प्ले नहीं करना डन बेटा ओके सेक्शन 19 एंड 143 ओके हैव यू रीड द प्रोविजन व्हाट इज आवर स्कोप अकॉर्डिंगली वी विल यूज द प्रोविजन व्हाट एक्शन टेकन बाय मिस्टर बेदी नाउ इनपुट्स मस्ट बी रिसीव्ड come on inputs must be received within what one year and capital goods within 3 years and same provision in section 143 there is also a provision of extension as per amendment extension for further one year and two years two year our case is of capital goods our case is of capital goods if goods not received back okay what is the provision if not received back beta if goods not received back okay then it to be treated as deem supply deem supply and gst is payable gst is payable and this deem supply of the date kis din ka deem supply mana jayega of the date when deem supply of the rate date when send to job worker send to job worker 
and GST is payable accordingly. This would be the action. And what about the molds and jigs and fixtures? Okay, if you have read both the provision carefully, then for jigs and fixtures, jigs and fixtures, no need to return back within time period. No need to return back within time period. Take it. You read the provision. Do, don't jump. Go slowly. Go slowly. Now next step number three. Six fundas of Vishal sir. Third funda. Okay. Now question with legal provision. So goods are not received. Directly sent to the job worker. First, can we directly send to the job worker? Yes. Second, but it should be written back, not received back. Okay. Now four. Now your framework of the answer. First, I will write legal provision section 19, also somewhat provision of section 143, but not more than three four lines. Take it. Next, it should be written back. If not written back, deemed to be supplied and GST is payable. That word is also important and you have to calculate okay now the what the action what action gst would be payable it would be treated as deemed supply see the provisions of the law humne jo kiya na 195 first he entitled to take itc first he entitled to take itc 196 it should be received back within 3 year or extended time but no extension is given deemed to be such capital goods supplied if not received back. So now Bedi manufacturer eligible for ITC. Date of okay receipt to be job worker is the deemed supply. No limit for mold and dice. and he can retain the ITC. These are the points you have to write. So, he marks me like it. Okay. Read the answer carefully and design the framework. What the points I am going to write? Or points to be like this point, this point, this point, this point, this point. This is the perfect way I believe to study any 